Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this interesting algebra math problem, which is A times B is equal to 100, B times C is equal to 200, C times A is equal to 300. So here we will try to find out the value of A plus B plus C. So how can we solve this problem? Here first of all, let us suppose this is equation number first, this is equation number second, and this is equation number third. Now here first of all, here we will do some steps. So in the first step, we will multiply equation number first and second, and we will divide the result with three. Equation number third. So let's multiply equation number first, second. So this will become a times b times bc divided by equation number third is ca. Now let's multiply the right hand side. So this will become a a b is equal to one hundred times bc is equal to two hundred. Divided by C is equal to 300. So here we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros. And here we will cancel this C with this C. And this A with this A. So this will become B times B which is B square. Is equal to 100 times 2 is simply 200. So this will become 200 divided by 3. So let us suppose this is equation number 4 which is the value of B square. Now here we will try to multiply equation number first with equation number third and we will divide the result with equation number second. So let's multiply equation number first with equation number third. So A times B times C A divided by equation number second is B C is equal to well, let's multiply the right hand side. So A B is equal to 100 times C is equal to 300 divided by b c is equal to 200 now again we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros and here this c will be cancelled with this c and this b will be cancelled with this b so the value of a square will become a times a is 100 times 3 is simply 300 divided by 2 no 300 divided by 2 gives him 150 so the value of a square is 150 let us suppose this is equation number fifth Equation number 5. Now, to find out the value of uh, c square, here we will multiply equation number 2nd and equation number 3rd and we will divide the result by equation number 1st. So, let's multiply equation number 2nd and 3rd. Equation number 2nd bc times equation number 3rd ca divided by equation number 1st is ab is equal to, now let's multiply their values, bc is equal to 200, so this is 200 times C is equal to 300 divided by AB is equal to 100. So again we will cancel these two zeros with these two zeros. So this will become 200 times 3 which is 600. And here this B will be cancelled with this B and this A will be cancelled with this A. So the value of C square will become 600. So let us suppose this is equation number 6. Now what we will do here, now to find out the value of a plus b plus c, here we will use an algebraic identity, a plus b plus c whole square identity. So here in this step we will use this one algebraic identity, a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times ab plus bc plus c a so here we will substitute the values of a square b square c square and a b b c c a from equation number first second and to equation number six so this identity this equation will become a plus b plus c whole square is equal to here the value of a square is simply 150 plus the value of b square is 200 divided by 3 and the value of c square is 600 plus 2 times the value of a b which is 100 the value of b c is 200 and the value of c a is 300 so let us substitute these values here so the value of a b is 100 plus the value of b c is 200 plus the value of c a is 300 now let's simplify this right hand side so this will become 150 plus this is 200 divided by 3 plus this is 
600 plus no, 100 plus 200 is 300, 300 plus 300 is 600. Now 600 times 2 is about 1200. So this is 1200. Then we'll take LCM of all of these numbers. So here the denominator in these three numbers is 1, 1. So the LCM of all of these numbers is 3. So this will become LCM is 3. Now dividing 3 by 1 gives in 3. 3 times 150 is about 450. Plus Dividing 3 by 3 gives him 1. 1 times 200 is 200. This will become 200 plus. Now dividing 3 by 1 gives him 3. 3 times 600 is above 1800. Plus. Now dividing 3 by 1 gives him 3. 3 times 1200 is above. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 1 is 3. So this is 3600. Now here we will add all of these numbers. So this will become. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. Now next is 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. So this is 5. Next is 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. This will become 0. 2 will be carry 3. So 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. So this gives him 6 divided by 3. So here the value of a plus b plus c whole square will become this implies a plus b plus c whole square is equal to this value 0 screen 6050 divided by 3. Now here we will try to eliminate this square from the left hand side. Now to eliminate this square from the left hand side we will take square root on both sides. So let us take square root on both sides. So here this square and this square will be cancelled and here this square will be applied on the numerator as well as on the denominator. So this will become square root of 6050 divided by square root of 3. Now here we will try to factorize this one number 6050. So we will factorize this number here. So 6050 is uh, an even number which is divisible by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6, 0. 2 times 2 is 4. When we come here it will become 10. 2 times 5 is 10. Now this is divisible by 5. 5 times 6 is 30. This will become here. And 5 times 5 is 25. Now this is again divisible by 5. 5 times 1 is 5. This will become 10. 5 times 2 is 10. And 5 times 1 is 5. Now this is divisible by 11. So 11 times 11 is 121. Now again it is divisible by 11. 11 times 1 is 11. So the front factorization of 6050 is 6050 is equal to it can be written as 2 times, here 5 is 2 times, this will become 5 square times, 11 is also 2 times, this will become 11 square. So here we will replace this number with this prime factorization. So this will become the value of a plus b plus c will become square root of, now this number is simply 2 times 5 square times 11 square divided by root of 3. Here we will split this square root over all of these three numbers. So this will become square root of 2 times square root of 5 square times square root of 11 square divided by square root of 3. Now here this square and this square root will be cancelled. This square and this square root will be cancelled. So this will become 5 times 11 which is 55. So this right hand side will become a plus b plus c is equal to this is 55 times square root of 2 divided by square root of 3. So this is our answer in terms of square root. We can further simplify this denominator by multiplying this number in the numerator and denominator. So let's multiply square root of 3 in the numerator and also in the denominator. So this will become square root of 3. So here we will multiply the numbers inside the square roots. This will become 55 times square root of 2 times 3 is 6, so this will become 6. And here the same number is 2 times, so we will change it to square form. So this will become square root of 3 whole square. So this square, this square will be cancelled, so this will become only 3. So the final value of a plus b plus c will become 55 times square root of 6 divided by 3. So this is our final answer and our final value.